Hey, what's up everyone? Hopefully everyone's doing well today. Um, I'm going to show you a different method of, on how to go about um, backing up your UMD personal games, game discs. Um, this time you got to download the software. It's, it's small. It's super easy to install. Um, everything's all straightforward for you guys. Um, I will leave this link down in the description below. Um, I suggest you get this immediately because who knows if this page just goes away one day but i'm sure who knows you can find if they if you can find this online somewhere else but nonetheless let's download this bad boy go to the zip es is a different language um use the umd dumper dot zip the 1.4 Can drag and drop. I already did this earlier. Now my PSP SD card's already already in the uh, computer itself, and this is just a description of what the new uh, version is. Um, I like to label um, folders so I know um, what is what. Now. You want to go to your file manager? Now you want to find your your um, SD card drive. Mine is D. You know, give us the D. Oop, wrong folder. You want to go to the PSP? You want to go to game? Now you want to drag and drop your folder into the PSP slash game, or you, you could copy and paste over. It's totally up to you guys. Whatever you whatever's easier for you. There you go. It's already installed. Let's close out of that. And like before, always eject. And after I eject this, um, we're gonna hit up the P the PSP side of things. All right, just booting up the PSP. Um, today we're going to uh, rip. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is called Tom Clancy's N War. I'm gonna try this game. I'm gonna insert this game. I'm going to insert it very well. There you go. Give it a few seconds to load up. Alrighty. As you can tell, it's loaded up. There's an update version. What you want to go do now is you want to go to the memory stick. Hit X. There we go. This is the UMD dumper that we're going to use for today. Alrighty. From here, you can move left to right. You can't go right anymore. It says read me, read, rename target file, ISO mode, which is you hit X button and you go CSO. It's going to be a compressed image. It's not going to be an ISO. So you can compress it as many times as you want up to nine. Normal speed or high speed. I'm just going to leave it as normal. There's actually a mini game where you can play, but it's like this. I don't understand why, so whatever. Start dumping, exit. So let's go back to README. Now, the README is just going to. Um, give you actually what the readme file text was that I just showed you prior to doing this portion of the video. So you can read it from here or you can read it on your computer. It's totally up to you guys. Nonetheless, let's get out of that. Rename target file. I'm just going to leave it as that. So right down there, it gives you all the information, the disk ID, which is ULUS10358, game name, Tom Clancy's N War. Um, it's going to be on the memory stick, MS0, ISO, which I recreated an ISO folder. I actually did delete the Power Stone ISO because it was just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to, you know, whatever. And at least it tells you, it's nice that it tells you the space required, which is 210 megabytes, and we have space available 63941 megabytes. I'm going to keep it... Actually, 
Keep that. Keep that. There we go. You could definitely hear I could definitely hear the back of the CD reader reading right now. I wish there was a way you could turn this music off. Well, that's cool. Just hit the zero or the O button. Gives you the debug information. And I definitely would have you guys charge your PSPs up to 100 or anything above 50 should be fine. You, you just don't want to be in the middle of ripping something and all of a sudden the thing dies on you. So it's 28% completed. Thirty-two. This is actually quite a rather a quick little uh, ripper, but nothing compares to um, just taking just doing the USB file transfer. It's so much quicker. But it is what it is. You're more than welcome to do CSOs or just uh, ISOs. I think they started with CSOs because back in the day they didn't have uh, big enough mem cards. That's why. <coughs> Excuse me. So I, I would definitely go with that. Definitely do a library of dot S ISOs instead. Especially when they have some. Especially when they have big, big ass like I don't know cards now, like up to like a terabyte or something like that. I don't know how, how well that's going to work, though, but... Because that's a lot of information for one little system to read. It'll probably take forever. That's why I think 64 is just the right spot, the sweet spot. All right, almost done. Ninety two percent. All right, let's exit this bad boy. There you go. Back to the main desktop or library or XMB or what the hell you call it. There you go. Pop this out. There you go. Game's right there. Game's right there. Good to go, baby girl. All right. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I am out of here.